Spotify. I, I show you as host and Olivia's co-host. Good. There you go. The recording's up now. All right. Welcome to Lunch and Learn Zoom Friday. My name is Nancy Gaskins and I am your host. Olivia and Debbie and myself would love to welcome you each today. Looks like we've got a full house. It's going to be a great day. Uh, for those of you who are visiting, each week we have a theme and uh, a, top, a table topic of discussion. And since Valentine's Day is right up on us, we decided that uh, we could wear red or pink and we're going to be discussing something that we love about our business and a nonprofit that we love. So we'll do that a little bit later on. So we're so glad that you're here and we're going to take the time to um, spotlight any visitors that we have today. Connie, would you like to come down and introduce yourself and tell us about your business and what you do? Good morning. I didn't know I was going to be first. <laughs> uh, I am a virtual assistant. I am um, out of Louisiana. I'm a mom of six kids and have six grandkids and just looking forward. I got invited this morning on the coffee chat I was in with Miss Elisa and uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly <laughs> and, uh, and I'm just glad to be here. Well, we're so glad that you're here. Donna, would you like to go next? Hello, everybody. My name is Donna Schupes and I am the owner and operator of Renaissance Lifestyles here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And um, what I do is I provide concierge services as well as downsizing and organizing uh, and move management uh, to families that are living local and long distance, uh, namely um, adult children of aging parents. Um, so that they have a parent that's located here in Calgary and they're out of town, um, I'm able to manage all of their parents' care. Um, or right from, um, right from them actually um, going into a home to having their, their or like a nursing home or a retirement residence. And then having, going into their home and totally, um, you know, re doing renos, um, updates, et cetera, in order to sell and transition um, the parent through that whole process. So very nice to be here today and thank you for the welcome. And who did you say referred you or did you, did I miss that? Oh, I'm sorry, Olivia did. All yes. right. Thank you for the referrals. All right. I thought I would attempt to do something kind of fun this morning in honor of Valentine's Day, if I can get it up and going. Bear with me just a second. Let's see here. This was kind of fun in case you missed it. Did y'all like that eagle picture I posted this morning? Wasn't that cool? Can y'all see my screen? Can see it. That's awesome. Love it. Two eagles. All right. I want to share this. It's hilarious. It's a beautiful little love story. I'm going to back it up. Together with the golden thread, you will marry, marry me, and I'll not marry you. I won't accept the dress of bread. I'll stitch together with golden thread, and I'll not marry, marry me, 
don't love me, so I'll not marry you. No, I'll not marry you. <laughs> <laughs> what did y'all think about that? That was cute. That was good. Very that cute. is two very dear friends of mine, chaplains, retired chaplains in the uh, U.S. Army military. And this is at one of our Valentine's teas for our garden club locally. And uh, they just brought the house down. Of course, y'all couldn't hear me cackling in the background, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I thought that would be a great way for us to start the day off. So let's start off with any kudos, celebrations, and recognition that we have for this past week. Anything uh, wonderful going on that we need to celebrate? <clears throat> Claudio. All right, I, I think we have another new person here. I haven't seen Sabina before. All right, she Sabina. Just popped in. Thank you. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us uh, who you are and about your business? Uh, yes. I'm. Can you hear me? Oh, I can, and I know Sabina. Come on down, yeah, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sabina. Uh, I'm in uh, Niceville, Florida, and my business is called A Gift to Africa. I work with a whole lot of women in Africa, and we have all these wonderful ingredients that I use to make products here in Florida. So glad to be here. We're glad to have you, glad to have you. Yes. All right, um, Claudio, what are we celebrating? Um, Valentine's Day on Sunday? <laughs> 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 Nothing really out of the ordinary. So it's, uh, it's just moving along, building business and, uh, and sharing. So yeah, no, nothing really on the new side for me right now. I uh, have something. Okay, go ahead, Jessica. I am um, in the next week and a half. Well, we will be uh, tying up the loose ends to double the size of my virtual assistant team um, based on the contracts we brought in over the last week and a half. And I, this weekend, I'm finalizing a signing of an additional corporation um, with a, a partner of mine that we're building. Um, uh, so I'll have. Um, that partnership will be finalized more legally and, and uh, under uh, an actual other company umbrella. So that's kind of exciting for me. So things are growing and, and moving. Absolutely, love your background. That's adorable. Yeah. Anybody, <laughs> anybody else? Let me scroll through the pages here in case I missed anything. Nancy Evans, we're so happy to have you back. We know you've been substitute teaching, so we've missed you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here right now. I just want to do a kudos for Miss Olivia because um, she has been doing these trainings of LinkedIn on Wednesday nights. And for me, they have been extremely valuable. So I just want to thank Olivia for her good energy always and for all her information sharing with us and, and her guests. Thank you, uh, Olivia. Anybody else? I want to say it's um, my Vietnamese New Year today. So we are celebrating the year of the ox. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that mean, Olivia? Well, typically on Asian New Year, we just eat. <laughs> like literally, we just eat lots of good food and uh, visit friends and family. And then we pass out lucky money in little red envelopes. What lucky money? What's lucky money? Oh, anything. Anything oh. 15 above. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, See, there's, our, there's our trivia. There's our Asian trivia for today. Thank you for sharing. Lori Scott, Queen of Green. Hi, Hi everyone. Um, good to see you. Sorry I'm not here every time, but um, you know, that's how life is. Um, so the target is to get my brother out of the garage by the end of February. And I'll end with that real clear intention, like out of the garage into a facility all sorts of wonderful opportunities are popping into the reality. And um, as these things, as Jessica says, gets hammered out, um, I will be over the top excited to share it with you. Very good, very good. But yeah, yeah. Anything else? Anybody else have anything they'd like to share today? 
Well, I decided to step out of my comfort zone and uh, quite a bit. I think we all have been over the past year, um, but I actually have uh, stepped out of my comfort zone and I'm actually going to uh, develop a new web page. So I'm going to learn all the ins and outs of uh, web design as a newbie and I look forward to it. So this weekend is kind of website weekend. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, feel free to reach out to people in our group. We've got a lot of experts in here as well as people who uh, kind of like you trial by fire and have learned a lot. So don't, don't feel bad about reaching out and asking questions. Thank you. Anybody else? I have one, I guess. All right, go ahead, Richard. Actually, a, a year after my wife passed in 2013, so 2014, I wrote out a description of my next relationship. And I kind of, I knew what that felt like. So my first date was four years ago on the 16th of February with my new gal who now we live together and we're traveling on the West Coast. So that relationship came to fruition because I knew what that felt like. So we're now four years of being together. And uh, I was so brave when I first met her, I asked her out on Facebook. I wouldn't call her up. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously it worked, right? Yeah, yeah. I went to a, a Christian comedian last Friday night and it was hilarious because she's single and she's dating and she's like older than me, you know, <laughs> and she's talking all the funny things that that happens to you. You know, one of the biggest things is you lie. You put these pictures, you know, that are 20 <laughs> years ago on your on your post. Oh, man. But that was that was pretty cute. Well, we want to congratulate you. Anybody else? All right, let's move along. Do you have any tips or secrets or resources that you'd like to share this week? Juanita had held up her hand. I'm sorry, I missed you, Juanita. Go ahead. Uh, no, that's okay. I just wanted to share. I'm still getting used to America. So yes, we're doing Valentine's, but Mardi Gras. Oh my gosh, everything here turned purple, gold, and green. And just a, a fun fact, uh, in Germany, we call it Fasching, so it's also a big celebration. Um, and yesterday was Vibers Fasching, so it's like women's Mardi Gras. So yesterday, Thursday, any man that was walking around would get their tie cut off. So fellas, if you had a tie on yesterday and somebody got you, you know why, they were from Germany. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras and Valentine's and Fasching. There you go. Last week here, we had uh, uh, a Mardi Gras parade on the beach road. And instead of being normal traditional floats and all of that stuff, what they used was golf carts. So everybody decorated up their golf carts and they, you know, did the social distancing in between. And I posted a little bit of that on my website. I don't know it was on Facebook. So that was, that was a lot of fun to, to see all that come to fruition. All right. Nancy, I don't, is this where we would do upcoming events? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Okay. We'll be, okay. We'll, we're coming. Right now, uh, the next topic would be tips and secrets or any resources that you have found that might benefit the group or that you thought was awesome. I want to say something right now about that. Um, if, can y'all hear me okay? Absolutely. Go ahead, Mary. Okay, great. So I just want to plant this seed of this idea that since we're all sitting here on Valentine's Day, everybody's got their individual loves, but what we really should be celebrating and inviting is relationships in harmony, because that is a theme that we've talked about in other Lunch and Learn sessions, is this sound, harmony, singing together. All of, when relationships are in harmony, we experience and achieve financial wellness, because um, our business are, are built on relationships, so it's a good time to put love into your business. Thank you for that insight, Mary, and you're so right. Uh, that's one of the things, for those of you who are listening, I forgot to mention we're live on Facebook, so open up your phones and go ahead and post that so all your friends can see what we're doing on here. And uh, it, I actually got it to work today. I can't believe it. I had a little issue yesterday. But anyways, one of the wonderful things that I pride myself in on this group is we have people from all over the world, all different nationalities, all different belief systems, education, experiences, and we still... At the end of the day, on Fridays, we come in here, we love on each other, and we share freely, and we're all, you know, we're about business, but we're also about making a difference in this world, and I just absolutely love that. That is what we're trying to build here, and if, if 
you're looking for a home, if you're looking for a tribe, you probably have found it if what we've been saying or what you've been hearing can resonate with you. So thank you, Mary, for sharing that. Relationships are key. Anybody else have any tips or secrets that they'd like to share? Look, uh, Nancy, just curious, where are you Facebook living? I don't see it in the Lunch and Learn group. I, I, I believe it's on my personal timeline. Okay. I've got to uh, yeah, get it that is. figured out. So if you'll go to my personal Nancy Sue Quinn Gaskins, you'll see it. So hello, everybody. And y'all can help me monitor that since I'm here on the screen at the computer in case anybody asks any questions or they're wanting to see anything or uh, ask us anything. So Olivia, do you have any tips for us that you can think of? So speaking of your profile pictures, <laughs> I do have a tip I want to share where we can beautify your picture and um, I'll put the link in the chat. It's called the pfpmaker.com. So you can uh, use your existing picture if you like, and then, you know, filter out the backgrounds or add a cool border, you know, jazz up a little bit. Um, Any time you update your profile picture, sometimes it gets a lot of different comments. You know, there might be people coming out of the woodwork, you know, coming out to say hello to you. I've seen that happen both on Facebook and on LinkedIn. Or if you can just, you know, use a newer photo, right? So something that um, people can recognize you by, you know, from your profile <laughs> picture and on video and Zoom or when they first meet you, a newer photo always helps too. Uh, so that way they can build that relationship. And, I, and of course you can beautify it using this link. So I'll put it in the chat. All right. Thank you very much. And that also, you know, on just your regular profiles, just change it up every once in a while. You know, some people have had the same profile picture on there for a hundred years. So change that up a little bit. Kay, is that you? <laughs> Anybody else? Any tools, tips, resources? Well, in the in, in team effort with my LinkedIn buddy, Olivia, I would say groups are coming back to life in the space of LinkedIn stronger than ever before. And one of the new-ish, newer, or a lot of people don't know about it, even though it's been there for a bit, is the ability to have admins on both your company page and your group page. And that can really help you with your joint venture relationships and your collaborations if more than one of you are an admin. That also helps with the virtual assistant team if your VAs are the admin on your page <laughs> to help you grow that so that you don't have to do all things yourself. Be successful, scale and grow, but don't do it all yourself. That's what I always say, you know. Very good. Uh, another important topic, and I'm going to uh, poll the group right quick. And, and I know Olivia, you and Jessica probably will have some good answers for this. But uh, a lot of people have reached out and they're wanting to know, you know, besides, we kind of talked about this yesterday at our um, co-op meeting, but where, what are the avenues that I don't, that I can use without spending a lot of money to promote my products and services? I don't know if you've noticed or not, but on your social media timelines, it's really getting bogged down. And it's almost like we have reached the saturation point of summits, classes, workshops. I mean, it's just like you scroll down your feed now. So my fear is we are getting to that point where we're going to start being ignored. A lot of us are already being ignored. You know, they just keep on going, keep on going. So what we need to do is we need to stay fresh and out in front and come up with some better, more innovative ways besides that to get in front of people. So any suggestions uh, for the group or anybody that's listening out there on Facebook? Uh, welcome Facebook friends and family. Hey, Nancy. Yes. Uh, this is Sabina. I'm, I'm, I'm new. I'm like two minutes old in the group, but I thought I might uh, share an idea if you have not talked about Clubhouse. Do you know about Clubhouse? Uh, I planned on bringing somebody in in a few weeks to talk about that, but why don't you go ahead and give everybody an introduction in case they don't know. Go ahead. Okay. So Clubhouse is a new app, but unfortunately it's just, um, it's on iPhone. So if you don't have enough iPhone, you cannot get on it. So it's by invite only. And what happens in club, it's like, a, it's, it, you don't put, there's no picture, it's all sound. It's all like radio, it's like a podcast, but you, you are sharing ideas. So you're not talking to people, you're talking with people. So you have to be invited in. So if you go to Clubhouse and um, you put yourself on wait list, anybody who is, connected to you 
can see that you're on the wait list and they can get you in. Or some people are, are now advertising on Facebook and saying, do you want to be on Clubhouse? Then you can, you know, they will send you an invite. So as soon as you get in, you can join a, a room. You join a room, you don't have to, but you join a room. Uh, it actually asks you, what are your, um, what, what are your interests? What do you want to know? Do you want, is it social media? Are you in sports? Are you in, so it's anything under the sun that you can say you are interested in. So what then happens is that it shows you different rooms of people who are talking about different things that might be to your interest. So for example, there's a big group about uh, women in business, for example, and you can join that that uh, club, it's called a club, and within the club, you, you can have your own room. So for example, Nancy, you go there and say, oh, at 12.35, um, I'm going to have a room and I want to talk about networking. And anybody who is, so, so people actually, those who know you go and follow you. So when you do say that, anyone who follows you can see that you're going to be there at 12.35 and they'll jump on and you can talk about all kinds of things and people are, uh, it's, it's like 24 seven. I'm, I'm like inundated with it because like, there's so much, so much going on. The wonderful thing about it is that you get to meet people that you would never ever, ever have met who are like experts at what they do and you're getting information for free. You can also do it for yourself and your group and anyone. So people are using it to build business. People are using it, excuse me, for social kind of things. People are using it for all kinds of different things, but it is a wonderful uh, platform that everyone is now using. And, anybody and anyone is over there. So if you need an invite, I'm on Facebook. All right. I don't, I don't talk too much on it, but I'm, I'm on different rooms and people, you know, I just jump, you jump in, you, you, you can leave quietly, it says, (laughs) and and nobody would know. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah. So anyone else who knows about Clubhouse can add on. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Yes, I just, Nancy. I have a very quick thing. If you are looking to enhance your leadership skills, okay, I want to recommend Laura Armstrong's uh, Gold Leadership Course. All right. Thank you very much. We'll be hearing from Laura next week. Can't wait. Awesome. Thanks so much, Nancy. I just love you. I, um, love you I too. I've um I found this really great tool. I'll put it in the chat. You know, when um, you guys see those collages of words around things you do and they've got, you know, uh, communication and and all the things like in different ways. Well, there's a site called Menometer um, that you can use as an interactive tool with your groups. And I'll put the link in the in the chat. And it's a great interactive tool you can use for different groups to create collages of words um, um, that is good for your organization. Uh, And I see Olivia nodding her head. Um, It's just been a great resource for me when I'm working with groups to get them kind of interactive. And I'll just put the link down there. You can check it out. I don't think there's any cost to sign up um, and you can use it for your business. All right, thank you for sharing. So do you mean the graphics around the words or bigger? Like when you have a video and you have little like, you know, hellos or images around your video is that what you're talking about so yeah you would you would pick a, a subject and then people you would send an email out to people say for instance i want you to give me three words that describe this subject for you and so they will answer the three words and email them into you and it populates this collage those words right so you're creating a collage of all these words for your group right laura um, could you make one for us like what does entrepreneurship mean uh yeah i don't have everybody's email though (laughs) okay all right well can we give you (laughs) yeah in the chat you know why don't you you know put the email addresses in and then laura can email us a survey about what does entrepreneurship mean hold hold up hold up let's (laughs) let's go ahead and uh let's do the contact thing in the chat okay Mm -hmm. because what i can do instead of her having to wade through all of that is uh, we can do this and i can send her one thing <laughs> instead yeah. of 50,000 but anyway, I agree. <laughs> uh, 
what we can do right now is uh, this would be the time that you put your contact information in the chat. We try to keep our chat organized. We, we talk while we're going through all of this and that's okay. But uh, when you're trying to wade through this, I allow you to save your chat after our event. And so you want to follow up with everyone. So in order to do that, you don't wanna have to see the same thing written 15 times. Only put your contact information in there one time and now would be the time to do that. So everybody open up your chat and go ahead and put your contact information in there. Uh, next topic would be any announcements that we might have. Olivia, do you have anything? Um, I will be speaking with the Emerald Coast Women in Business uh, next Tuesday. So super excited for that. Thank you, Kay and Renee and uh, Debbie McKinney for inviting me. <laughs> Very good, very good. Nancy, I just want to say one thing before you go on. Uh, just send me the list of people. I'll send all the emails out and maybe we could have it for next week that way. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool, awesome, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to invite, I don't know if y'all saw it on my timeline or not, but this is super cool. Um, there is a series, a business series by Deluxe and it is the Entrepreneurial Revolution. And it's little segments. It's like a reality show, only they go across on small town America and uh, pick these towns to reinvigorate and, and help their business owners improve their businesses. And it starts out in season one with Shark Tank's um, Robert Hirschbeck, which I absolutely adore. And they go through and each segment is one business. Now, they're all different kinds of businesses, but it's very educational. It's no drama. It's not like some of the stuff that you're watching. It's very good. And so one of my networking groups, Emerald Coast Connections, uh, has allowed me to invite my group to come over there. We meet on Tuesdays on Zoom, and we will be discussing an episode every Tuesday at 1130 and usually lasts for about 30 minutes and that central standard time, but uh, I'm already hooked for some reason. You know, I don't watch a lot of television, but of course I love Shark Tank, as y'all all know, but this is something different. They really go in there and uh, Deluxe has a contest. And so they invite people for, I, I think it's just in the United States to submit their nominations for a city and they let people vote. And then that city gets $500,000 and they have all this team of uh, entrepreneurs and business experts to go in and they choose four or five, you know, businesses and, and you get to meet them and, and go through all that. And it's just really, so far, it's really good. Um, so I, if, if you haven't seen that, it's on my Facebook wall. I invite you all to join, join for free and just come in and join the discussion. And like I said, just because it might be a bridal uh, you know, or a restaurant, just because that's not your industry, it doesn't matter. The stuff that you're learning can go right along with your business. I mean, I have already picked up a few really great tips uh, to be passed along to you guys, and I will be doing that throughout, throughout this time. But anyway, we just started that last week, and so we will be doing episode three this coming Tuesday. Uh, now would be the time if you have events to go ahead and put those in the chat. Yesterday, we had a very good session on the co-op. And for those of you who are a member of the co-op, it is time to pay your quarterly dues and discuss our upcoming projects. We've already got uh, three or four of them in the works that we'd like to do. And you can choose 30, 50 or $100 as your quarterly dues. And for those of you who are just visiting or may not understand, this is sort of like a community investment club around the world, except for it doesn't have all the red tape, hassles, restrictions and, and all of that stuff. We get together every 90 days, we pool our resources, put a few bucks in, and we use it to launch businesses. And sometimes we use it to uh, purchase products and services that could benefit the group. One of the things that we did last year was we bought a website. We pulled our resources and bought meetmyreferralpartners.com. It is a very robust website. We're still not all on it, but uh, we're working towards that. So anything like that, that would help the group as a whole, I'm all for that. Other opportunities that we may have is uh, something like maybe ClickFunnels or Kajabi that's expensive. Not everybody may want to participate. So, you know, 
a few of us could get together and participate and cooperate. For example, the one thing on uh, ClickFunnels that I'm looking at is $297 a month, but it's unlimited funnels, unlimited pages. I think there's like nine uh, admin slots or something like that, but you get 10 people together and that's $29.70, $29.70 a month to have this world-class options. You know, you have more than that, it's gonna be cheaper. So anyways, those are the things that we're looking at. As far as the business opportunities and things that we want to fund, we're looking at things that are in pre-launch, soft launch, things that are in early adoption stages. We'll look at anything, but right now for March, April, and May, these are the things that we're looking at. We're um, wanting to get into the cryptocurrency space. We already got a couple of companies. I've already put some money in, just kind of looking at that, playing with it. I'm very excited about that. Uh, there is uh, in the crypto space, an exciting thing that just happened two weeks ago. And I, I don't know if you heard me speak about that, but their MasterCard has gotten in on the cryptocurrency rage. And this card is really going to be a game changer. And you can have uh, your fiat money, which is your dollars, euros, the uh, uh, Chinese one, and anyway, some other things as well as your cryptocurrency on this card. And you can uh, transfer and sell it at very easily at instantaneously time instead of all of the weight. And then you can also use it anywhere where MasterCard is accepted. So this is something that has not happened before, and it could be huge. That's one of the things, uh, another one of the projects that we're looking at is uh, for entrepreneurs specifically, it is going to have all of these uh, products and services under one umbrella. So you would have your social media, you would have your calendar program, you would have anything and everything that you would need to grow your business. Even crowdfunding will be under this umbrella for one price per month and founders got in for $99. And since I hadn't had a chance to meet with everybody up front, I went ahead and used my own money and went ahead and signed the co-op up for it to get us in there at the founder price because just like everything else, it's gonna go up. I think the next one's gonna be uh, this next week or something they're looking at, I think 150 and then it only goes up from there and then it's gonna go into launch. So right now it's pre-launch and I wanted to go ahead and get us involved in that. 85% of all income generated from our co-op activities is given back to the members and it's distributed equitably. Those of you who got in, uh, you joined the network first and then as we found other things, there was an add-on price. So I wanted to clarify that. So you, you paid to join this network for our Lunch and Learn Zoom Fridays, our masterminds and all of that. Then we gave you the option to join the co-op at a low price. Those of you who did that, you are what's called founders. And so to reward you for that, the, out of the 85% uh, royalty reward that's gonna be given back to the co-op people, 5% off the top is gonna go to founders. So right off the top, 5% will be divided equitably among all of you. And then the 80% will be divided up among all members and that is founders included. Okay, so 85%, then the company will retain the 15% for that for our cut. We have two events coming up and I got with Blaney last week. And let me see if I can find our dates. Drum roll, please. April 24th will be our Meet the Author virtual marketplace. If you know of anybody who has published a book, and I don't care if it's self-published or traditionally published or whatever, they need to be here. We are capping this one, uh, these two events that are coming up to 75 vendor tables. We will open this up to a global audience. We'll be advertising and promoting to bring people in. Every table will have the book cover. So this is gonna have to you know, be done rather quickly so we can make sure we have all the graphics uh, ready for the advertising as well as the tables but when when they walk into this virtual marketplace the table will have the book the book cover on each table so you'll know the author that you're coming into so it's going to be fabulous so uh, that will be meet the author ticket prices for general admission will be five bucks so people have to pay five dollars to come in this is a co-op event what does that mean that means 85 percent of all the revenue generated is going to be back in your pocket so 
uh, you get to double dip if you are an author and a member of the co-op. But if not, you're a co-op member, you're going to get a piece of the action. And our goal is to have these every 90 days. I've asked Ellie Sheffy to come in and give them a little bit of um, information on what it means to publish and, and some of those things that she's doing and to offer her courses because I want to be out there promoting uh, becoming an author is a great way to promote yourself and your business. And so we want to be attracting those people as well. That's going to give us a fresh stream of brand new authors every 90 days to um, introduce to the public. So that's the Meet the Author event. The next event we have is the one that we've kind of been practicing with and, and looking around is our home-based business job fair. And that one will be May 15th. These are on Saturdays from 10 to 2 Central Standard Time. And we're going to try that. If it's too long, you know, we'll adjust as we go along. But right now, we've got it set from 10 to 2. The home-based business job fair is anybody who is in the business opportunity space. So you don't necessarily have to be in direct sales, but the majority of folks are uh, so far that we've got signed up, but we do have some other people. Uh, if you have something that could be considered a business opportunity, you are eligible to have a vendor table. Vendor tables for both events are $35 each. And again, the tickets will be $5 for general admission. And uh, what that is, is sometimes when you go to live events, people are just tire kickers. They just use it as a uh, entertainment, as something to do. And you've got these people who have, you know, put their hard earned money in here to sell their products and services. They might sit there all day long and never sell anything. So this is a way for our co-op members, if you are a, you know, author, speaker, trainer, coach, or something like that to promote yourself uh, and get a little bit back, even if you might not sell anything, because it's all about exposure. You've got to get yourself out there in front of a new audience and introduce yourself and, and tell them what you're all about. So does anybody have any questions on any of that? Yeah, Nancy, um, when you say author, can it also include contributing author? Yes, or, absolutely. Or co-author. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Yes. If you have anything in any publication, you are welcome to, uh, welcome to join us. And for those of you who uh, missed our call yesterday, I had several people ask me to videotape it. I did. And I also posted it on YouTube and also posted it on my timeline yesterday. So it, it's very informative. I did a PowerPoint presentation to explain a little bit more in detail about the co-op because some of you were uh, didn't have all the details and didn't exactly understand how it was going to work. So I think that was very beneficial. Anybody yeah, else? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, questions um, are two for 99 cents, Sabina. Did we <laughs> tell you that? <laughs> but for you, we're going to give you a deal. I think that's my famous saying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so for the co-op, you talked about, um, so I'm new, I'm just hearing this for the first time. I, I'm, I'm going to listen to your, um, you know, whatever you recorded yesterday. Uh, my question is, you talked about the founders. So the founders is closed. So whoever is joining now is not a founder. Is that right, correct? Right, you still, you'll get part of the 80%, but not the bump up five. 85% total is the royalty that is distributed among the members. But as a bonus, we want to thank those people who were in from the very beginning and, and, and believed in us. And so that's where that comes from. And I will get with you uh, afterwards and we can we can discuss and see if this okay. is something that might be a good fit for you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. Everybody got their events listed. Yes, Barry. Yeah, I, I, you did. That thing is a raised hand. I guess I should stop using it. Uh, where can we find the information on the authors so that we can send it out to authors that we know? And where's the information on the vendor fair? Uh, we're working on the graphics right now, so I should have those available to you by next week. Okay. Put a put one for me. Okay, no problem. What what date in May is it? Uh, let's see here. May fifteenth is the home based okay. business, and April twenty yeah. fourth is meet the author. All right. Sorry about that. That's our national convention. So won't oh, be there. okay. Well, that's all right. You can be there in spirit. Anything else? All right. Let's move along to our introductions and let's do our screenshot first. 
show off our fancy smancy Valentine's Day gear. So if everybody will look into the camera and smile, I'll do a little three, two, one countdown. Three, two, one. Okay, let me get the other page. Three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go around the room, introduce yourself, tell us what your business is, tell us something that you love about your business and tell us about a nonprofit that is near and dear to your heart. And let me explain why I've asked this a couple of times. 10% right off the top of any money that I generate from this business and also any money that we generate from any event or anything that we do. First of all, 10% goes to tithe, and that's my personal preference because I'm a Christian, but 10% also goes to charity and nonprofits. And one of the things that we would like to do is get your input on who and what your favorite nonprofits are. Tell us a little bit about them. We want to put them on the list and uh, then we can vote on every time we have an event where we want our money to go. It's all about philanthropy, doing good, making a world of difference. And we are a collective group that, that knows a lot of things and has access to a whole lot of different things. And, you know, I'm in my little Nancy Gaskins tunnel, but you put all of us together and it can be amazing what we can do. So I really want to hear and make sure that when you get done with your introduction, put your nonprofit, if they have a link or something like that, if you can find it, put that in the chat for me so that we can go out and Libby and Debbie and myself can go and explore these options if you don't mind. So can I get a volunteer who would like to go first? Go ahead, Kay. Unmute yourself first. <laughs> I thought I would do it like the old films, you know, where you can just read lips. <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm Kay Lehman. My business is Healthy Day, Healthy Life. And I work with people individually to help them meet their current health goals or health challenges. And I also equip them with the tools that they need, not only to meet those goals, but to also improve their health at a cellular level. My favorite um, charity is the USANA Foundation. The USANA Foundation is unique because USANA covers 100% of all operating costs. So 100% of all money donated goes back out to help people from all around the world. And they help um, nourish um, malnutrition, people with malnutrition um, through meals, through um, supplements and on hands charities. They also equip, um, they work with local partners and experts on the ground to identify what a community really needs to build their own food independence and they help them achieve that so that they can begin producing their own food. And they also work with a global network of 500,000 plus associates to champion hunger related causes around the world, identify needs in the communities and serving at home and abroad. So this is a worldwide charity. And Thank so, you. yeah, and just so, and like, so when there was an earthquake, you know, a major earthquake, USANA was on the ground. So it's not just within a normal improving lives, but it's also going out and touching the immediate needs when disaster strikes. Right. One of the things that I've shared with you guys uh, before was a, a group, and, and I think it's worldwide, but it's 100 Women Who Care. Every 90 days, this group of women, there's chapters all over the world, I believe, and we have one locally, which is where I learned about it. Every 90 days, they get together and everybody pitches in a hundred bucks. So that ends up being about $33 a month. And you can get a team together if you want to for your hundred bucks, it doesn't matter. But anyways, everybody gets together and uh, they bring their hundred dollars to this dinner meeting. Okay, it only lasts an hour. And they uh, invite nonprofits now to come in and give a pitch, like a two to three minute pitch. 
about what it is they're doing and what they would use this money for. So if you have 100 people at $100, that's $10,000, right? So we all brought our, bring our hundred dollars, like get up, you know, three, just say three nonprofits, get up and speak. As soon as they get finished speaking, we all get a piece of paper out and we vote and we throw our vote in a hat. And at the end of that night, some nonprofit walks away with $10,000. Now, how cool is that? No red tape, no anything. It's just an easy, great way uh, to be a philanthropist and it's an affordable option. This is kind of where I got all of my ideas on how we could do what we're doing without a lot of red tape because that's where you get bogged down. There's other groups that there's so much red tape it takes them six months to come up, you know, to go through and vet and do all of these wonderful things. Well, by that time, a nonprofit can be under, <laughs> truly. You know, sometimes they're, they're month to month on their expenses and those that really need it. So uh, anyways, I, I love that. And I wanted to give them out a shout out because it truly is. If you have one in your area, like I said, it's 100 women who care. I don't know if they have a men counterpart, but uh, I just think that's so cool. You know, 10 women get together, chip in $10 every 90 days and they're your philanthropist. So I love that. Livia, would you like to go next? Okay, so how would you like to get notice on LinkedIn? So I can help you with that. You know, I can help you with just getting your profiles more visible and optimized, as well as making introductions to my LinkedIn connections who can, you know, help to refer you business as well. So my name is Olivia. I'm a LinkedIn vibe expert. That stands for visibility, impact, and brand expression. I'd love to have you join my Facebook group. So I'll put the link in the chat. And um, one of my, what I love about LinkedIn is just, you know, just the opportunity that's there. So many of you who are like in Facebook jail <laughs> and just getting tired of, you know, battling with Facebook and, you know, wanting just fresh context, fresh perspective, and just meaningful business connections. Um, I just love to share the LinkedIn platform with you. And I am so grateful to talk about my nonprofit that's close to my heart. So as a result of Lunch and Learn, I met Kathy Nesbitt and I fell in love with her laughter yoga training. I'm signed up, you know, for her laughter yoga training certification class under this month in February and universe works in mysterious ways. So I was able to find an organization in Jacksonville, my hometown, um, that offers, you know, yoga wellness programs to, to community for my families and uh, their children. And so I connected with them. And I am now a laughter yoga teacher for them on the weekends. And we do it in the Jacksonville Botanical Gardens and Arboretum. And so I'll put the link in the chat for that as well for the Harmony Mind, Body and Spirit Wellness team and would love to have your donations. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Yes, Barry. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you about my favorite nonprofit and a way for you to contribute to yours. Mine is the Red Devils. If you're in chemotherapy, it is generically called the red devil because of what it causes for people who are in it. And what the red devils do, totally nonprofit, 100% of the money in the state of Maryland now, go to all the participants, either to take them back and forth to their treatment, to help clean their houses, to go shopping for them, whatever they need while they're in treatment. But what I'd all like you all to know, if you don't know about it, you can contribute to whatever your favorite nonprofit is if you use Amazon, except you use smile, S-M-I-L-E dot Amazon dot com. Pick your nonprofit. And every time you make a purchase on Amazon with no charge to you, they will contribute to your nonprofit. It's a great way to take care of the things and the people you really care about. So for me, if you haven't met me before, I'm a product ambassador for a billion dollar international health and wellness and beauty manufacturer of consumable necessity products that offer you and your family private, exclusive wholesale accounts by invitation only. We're not a buying decision because you're buying those products at your grocery and drugstore anyway. We're shopping decisions. So you just switch stores. So let me introduce you to North America's number one online wellness shopping club. My calendar's in the chat and I'll introduce you to Melaleuca, the wellness company. 
I am the Mellow Man. Thank you. Welcome. Who would, like, who would like to be next? Go ahead, Laura. You know, one day I'm going to get this whole mute thing sorted out. It's just <laughs> not today. <laughs> Uh, so my name is Laura Armstrong. I am a leadership accelerator and a communication expert. Um, so as a three-time world champion martial artist, I help you develop the skills, give you the tools, and map out the action plan to reach your full potential that will fast track you on the road to extraordinary leadership and communication success. And I do that through my leadership training programs uh, and my communication training uh, with Bank. I know that Jessica also is one of our bank coaches. She's amazing too. Um, we just came out with something from Zoom uh, where on your Zoom call, if you record it, uh, you're going to be able to get a, re a, a report afterwards with the person's bank code and all of the information uh, about them and how to speak to them if you want to follow up with them. So if you want more information about that, contact me or Jessica, we can help you with that. Uh, I have a three-day leadership course, which I put under the events coming up next week. So if you're looking to find out what it would look like if you were the world champion of your business, I would suggest you attend. There's no cost. This is the last one I'm doing free. And it's you're going to really come out of this challenge with a clear picture of what success looks like for you. Uh, and I just love spending time with you. What I love about my business is exactly that. Seeing people shoot past me into their success is exactly where I want them to be. And that really is what warms my heart. Um, one of the, I don't have a particular charity that I work with, but one of the ones that one of the organizations I belong to works with is Project Phoebe, okay? And basically Project Phoebe works with um, uh, families uh, who have had members incarcerated and they're having a hard time keeping up with the bills, paying the bills, you know, um, eating, all that kind of stuff. So they donate funds to those families so that they're able to function um, as you know they're dealing with uh, someone maybe in their family who's incarcerated. And what I'll was the, the name of that? Okay, thank you. Oh uh, yeah, I'll put the link in so you can look at it. It's called for Project Phoebe. I'm not sure if, uh, sorry, yeah, Project Phoebe and the website is restorephoebe.com. I'm not sure if it's just Canadian, but I think they're not gonna turn away money for donations. So let me just put it that way. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. Who else would like to go next? Jeffrey. Thanks, Nancy. Hi, I'm Jeff Berger. I'm founder of Abundance and Optimum Wellness, physically, mentally, and financially. As a certified health and integrative wellness coach, I show stressed out entrepreneurs how to increase mental fitness with holistic coaching for overall heightened well-being. I'm aligned with the first and only holistic mental wellness company focusing on the microbiome, which is the gut-brain access, and mental fitness is the new physical health today. I'm a living testimonial. I took control, lost 60 pounds, reversed my type 2 diabetes, and came off of five medications. And I have more energy, sleep like a baby, and stress and anxiety is down to a minimal. And I feel like I'm 33 years old, and I'm really 66. So are you looking to improve your mental fitness? And I'm newly branding myself as the Holistic Wellness Gladiator. So if you're interested in some information, enter gl uh, hashtag gladiator. So... My um, non-for-profit that I've been passionate about um, this past year because our company has actually partnered with them is Feed the Children. And this is an organization. Um, and in fact, it's, it's one of the leading anti-hunger organizations in the world. They dare to envision a world where no children goes to bed hungry and they are dedicated to helping families and communities achieve stable lives and to reduce the, um, the need for help tomorrow, uh, all while pro, um, providing food and assistance to help them today. So that, and their um, website is feedthechildren.org. And the one, one thing that I'm resonating with my business is our core values, which is love, integrity, innovation, service, and humility. Thanks. Well, here's the question. Are you going to come in your cute little gladiator outfit next week? I think Ooh. he should, though, y'all. We <laughs> have some kind of cool background going on. Oh, boy. <laughs> I feel it coming. I feel it coming. <laughs> Who'd like to go next? Go ahead, Marsha. Uh, yeah, so, so great to be here. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody for Sunday. 
My favorite charity is IJM, which is International Justice Mission, which deals with uh, child trafficking. Child trafficking is a huge um, situation that's really permeated everywhere in the world. And I'm also a resource here for child trafficking here in Canada. And I'll put the link in the uh, chat for that. I have found that people have developed cravings for food that they didn't have before these past 12 months. And so people maybe who weren't putting on weight before are now putting on weight because they've developed all kinds of situations. They're stressed out, anxious, and therefore they're involved with eating emotionally. And so that's my expert, that's my Arab expertise that I love helping people get back their health, reduce the weight, keep it off forever and deal with food cravings. I've been able to remove 40 pounds, keep it off, deal with, I was a sugar addict and you can put me in a bakery and I'm not, I, it doesn't trigger me at all. And so if you're interested, go into the chat and put in daily accountability. I've helped dozens of people stop their cravings around sugar, alcohol, caffeine. Well, they weren't alcoholics, but they were social drinkers and now they've gone off of the alcohol. So I've established certain tools and resources that people can use to deal with their cravings, especially around food. So I'm an expert in that area. So if you want some help, reach out to me. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Fernando? Oops. Sorry, I lost. <laughs> Trying to click all over the place. Hey, thank you. My, my name is Fernando Espinosa, and I help people break into the crypto space and grow. One of the things that uh, the financial services are going is that they're moving to the crypto uh, uh, world. And uh, uh, I have a great... Uh, offer on, on a, uh, on a uh, platform where it's very convenient to buy, sell, spend, save, grow, trade, and earn crypto assets in just one, one, one platform. And I would like to, uh, I will be very happy to share some more information if you are open to taking a look into it. Uh, right now we're offering a free account and the last day for that free account is the February, uh, February 15th, next Monday. Uh, then the, the accounts are going to cost $99. So it, the company is, go, is, is growing very, very fast. So it is a great time to open just a, a free account and start learning about crypto. What I love, uh, I love to uh, talk to people is when uh, I like to see how their eyes open when they start l listening about financial education and how you can start buying now uh, digital gold, silver, uh, uh, titanium, platinum, and all that kind of stuff. And also the, the way that you can save. One of the basic problems of financial education is, is a lack of savings. Uh, my nonprofit organization that I love is uh, Gigi's Playhouse. It's basically for Down syndrome, uh, young, very young people. I have a, a nephew that has Down syndrome and uh, Gigi's Playhouse has, has done a lot of good for thousands of kids where my nephew is. And uh, all right now there's there's a Gigi's Place House that just opened here in El Paso. And that is a great need for that kind of uh, angels. So uh, that's a, a great place to, to, to help people. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Fernando Espinosa. I'll put my information in the chat. Thank you. All right, thank you. Now it's time to move along. I'm sorry we didn't get through everybody's, but uh, what I would like for you to do is go ahead and put your nonprofit in the chat if you have not done so. We're gonna go into our featured speaker. And if we have a few minutes afterwards, I will go ahead and, and come back to some of you who did not get a chance to speak yet. So I'm happy to announce today's featured speaker is none other than Mr. Richard Morton. Richard is a transformational coach He's a certified emotional freedom technique practitioner. That's tapping. That's EFT. He's a certified emotional success coach. And today's topic is uncovering your truth. We are trained early not to acknowledge our emotions. We're taught how to behave and what we should feel about situations. 
Let's acknowledge how you feel and what is your truth in the moment. Please join me in welcoming Richard Morton. Come on down, Richard. Thank you, Nancy. Um, what I'm, I'm going to walk through some tapping process without much of the description of it. Because bottom line is we have meridians that run through our bodies, 12 meridians that connect our organs and our bodies that hold of our emotions. So there's two of you, you've got a brain, you've got a body and tell you <laughs> the dumbest part of our body is a brain because it thinks it knows something. The true body, a body is what holds our emotions. It actually keeps traumas from us. It does a lot of stuff for us. Uh, and because it's all the connections like that, we're not allowed to acknowledge our emotions in many ways as children and, and, and different things. Men have anger. Women are not allowed to acknowledge their anger, which leads to a lot of sadness and oppression on acknowledgement. We're trying to do something called an affirmation, but inside we feel not so good, let alone crappy. So my, 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 my tru truth is a sense, we start tapping and heal our hand and start acknowledging what we feel like. Say we want to get up and have a good day, but we get up on the wrong side of the bed. Everything's gone sour. Well, an affirmation is just an insult to you. I don't mean to pick on people's affirmations, but I think you have to get there. You got to clean your table off before you start putting something good on the table. So what I want to do is acknowledge people's truth of said they're having if something upsetting. I'm upset. I'm angry about what's going on. And I really want to, I want to have a better day. But I'm going to acknowledge how I feel because what I'm feeling inside, if I'm not acknowledging that, how do I know to trust anything if I can't even acknowledge my, my own anger? Your intuition comes from your congruency. So if we're not acknowledging what's really going on, how to let things go, we start to we can start to really work through that. So, Sam, I'm angry. What else is is going on in the day? I'm start to I'm not happy with what's going on. I'm not happy what the way my dad spoke. Now I'm not happy the way my mom spoke to me. So we can talk about that. Little things that go on. How you know we have struggles with our children sometimes. We just want to process that. We want to clean the table off. So and again, I'm keeping this light because we don't want to get anybody's anybody's really issues at this point. So if you, if you can tap with me, one, I'm just I'm I'm not having such a great day. I want to have a better day, but I'm not having, I'm, I'm off to a bit of a bad start. Spilt my coffee, was late getting up, got a bad phone call, you know, so, so an affirmation is not going to work for me right now. But I'm going to acknowledge that I'm going to give myself the best effort I can, and I'm going to accept what I can of myself. A big piece of this when I say about working with people, can I teach it? Um, I acknowledge my pain, I acknowledge my anger, but I truly deeply love and accept myself. That's a hard statement for people. There's a lot of people who can't do that. So what can you accept of yourself in the moment? I can accept that I'm not very happy the way I've been, maybe the way I've been eating through this pandemic. You know, I can accept that I'm not on my best uh, food program, but I'm choosing to make better, better decisions in the future. And then we center the eyebrow, I'm not happy, I'm upset. I wish things were better. I wish this pandemic would go away. I wish I didn't have to wear this mask. I wish I could, things, were, things were, were back to normal where we could all go outside and play in the sun. You know, this is our truth for most of us. So it's, it's, this is upsetting to see my friends. I can't see my friends. I can't see people's smiles. I have a hard time hearing people because my hearing's going after all these years of working in, <laughs> working around loud equipment. They're muffled but I can also eat, eat my favorite donut behind my mask. <laughs> I'm not very happy about this and feel what's in your body. You know, start to pay attention. We're not even allowed to acknowledge your body. Where is that? Where is that pain in our body? A lot of times people have a lot of neck and shoulder pains, long terms of maybe uh, stress. People who have maybe not been supported have stress in their back and their hips. We have people who have a constant stomach ache or people who shallow breathe, people with traumas, right? They don't breathe well. That's why people smoke sometimes because that allows them to have that deep breath. We don't realize what we, how we condition ourselves to survive in our environments, let alone really bad environments. So tapping on our chest, under arm. I'm not happy about what's going on in this environment right now, but I'm willing to see about doing something better. You know, so what, again, when we start to release that, okay, this is the point of saying, when you really can let this go, I'm not happy with the, maybe the conversations I've had with my boss or my partner, we're all on Zoom and things are crazy, things are going on. I'm not happy because I can't see everybody. When we start to really 
let the energy go, then our truth is, well, I am happy that I'm safe. I am happy that I, that I have a good place to live. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the people I'm connecting with, especially on these Zoom calls. They all inspire me. I can't wait for us to get together in person. I know that's going to happen eventually. I look forward to actually shaking somebody's hand or giving, giving somebody a hug, something I miss dearly. You know, we crave human contact. We crave that connection with people. We crave somebody putting their hands on our shoulders or saying, how are you? Go ahead, Renita. You got a question? Oh, okay. She was just waving at the screen. <laughs> so again, what is our, again, our truth in the moment? What are we wanting to you know? I'm not, I, I can't, I have trouble talking to my boss. We have trouble communication. I always get nervous when I talk to my boss. My boss seems to always find a way to undermine me. You know, I find it really frustrating. So that could be, you know, oftentimes a sense, someone previously who did the same behavior and a boss represents that. We don't realize that trigger. So here's where we are when we're, we're an adult. I'm, I'm turning 64. I could be responding from something that happens when I'm three. Because there's three of you that are actually doing the response. You as the adult who thinks you're responding, the three-year-old who had the incident to happen to him, the person you're trying to be. You know, so these are, when zero to seven are on record, that's the foundation of how we see our life. And as a child, we make powerful decisions in the moment of I'm not there, no, there's no one there for me. I can't trust, I can't show people affection. And that's, that's an emotional energy that plays out in their life over and over. And you'll see that when you work with an adult, people 40, 50 years old, they lose relationship, they get abandoned. And that decision energetically was made when they were a child and it could be something simple, it could have been something very traumatic. But those tend to show up over and over and over. Um, the biggest thing with this is helping people connect the dots sometimes why they're doing something. You know, why this is going on for you so you understand the triggers and what, what it's not so much the answer, but what did you decide about yourself in, in the time at that time? So what, and little simple decisions can lead to big changes. Phobias can start up, allergies uh, enact in people from emotional choices. Remember, uh, parents, you're rolling around in weeds or something like that. Parents, you're going to get your death in the weeds or something like that. Somebody or scares you. That's an emotional memory that could lead to an allergy. Long-term effects of stress, especially nowadays with the way we're um, high cortisone levels like that, over, to, over time that starts to really break down your body, starts to break down in, in, the, in your joints, things like that. So emotions are probably 95% of your stress uh, illnesses as you grow older, unresolved emotions. So, and we don't even know a lot of them there. That's, so it's not having to really dig up all the pain, but just really be able to function well going forward. And when I'm working with clients, I don't have to know the instance. I just need to know the energy of it. So there's a lot of uh, discretion that work with this as well. How much time do I have, Nancy, sir? Uh, two minutes. Okay. So again, I just want to clean the table off when you start something true. This is it's kind of, I think, the new term that's called magnetism, because I'm going to acknowledge the negative, and then I'm going to bring in the positive. So again, I've cleaned the table off. I've acknowledged me I'm not feeling well. I just got that yucky feeling out of my body. Now I look, you know, I'm choosing to have a good day. I'm choosing to have the energy for all the things I want to do. I've got some really good conversations coming up. I'm choosing to have a good mindset. And I'm preparing for these conversations as I go forward. You know, and understand what that, if that's going to be a conversation, you can actually imagine that conversation, which I do with conflicts. You know, my boss is pretty tough, pretty, pretty good, but I know they got a good heart. So I'm really going to work in my energy. So when I sit there, I'm in calm. I'm, and I may change the way I see that conversation. You know, when I change my energy around that, I can, I can, that whole energy. And I, my example was when I had a, a really tough micromanaging boss and I did the work in myself, that was my dad's energy because he was a military guy, right? There wasn't micromanage, he just was authority. But when I changed my energy there, that changed my relationship 180 degrees with my boss. And we never had a conversation. So everything we do, cause is us, effect is what we're seeing getting back to us. So we can change all of those around us, how we see ourselves, how we communicate, 
Uh, and we can do all this work, but it's good to it's good to come out and test it in real relationships as well. You know, what's the what's the running joke? You think you're spiritual? Go spend a week with your family. <laughs> <laughs> you think you got your act together? Move in with somebody. You know, real world testing. So this is where it comes down to you know the, the feet hit the road is when you actually bring this in. You know, and I do test this with people energetically. Okay. Uh, if someone's, I'm going to stop here. If someone's because it was a long time drinker and I've stopped drinking, they energetically need to change those relationships with everybody in that room. Cause that person, they all, they all see that person still is a drunk. So that's all they're in. We think I've changed. Everybody's going to see me different. They're going to be proud. No, you're still the drunk. You've drunk for 40 years. Why, why should I see you any different? But when you change energy to, to those people and we can do that, that changes that relationship before you ever set foot in that room. So any questions? Anybody have any questions? I want to say let's unmute and just give rid of Richard a round of applause here. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we'll absolutely. Unmute yourself, everyone. Hey. Do you have a question? Where was you tapping underneath here? I couldn't quite right by the right by your bra strap. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ah, Thank okay. You. Thank you. Okay. Uh, for those of you who have not got on our list yet, you know, our featured speaker. I ask that you bring something that could benefit the whole group. As you know, we all have a variety of interested backgrounds and industries here, but you all have something special that you could bring to make our tribe better. And so I, I started this uh, back in December. And so anybody who wants to get on that list, all you need to do is contact me. We are working on, I think I've got... Uh, one date in March left, and then we're working on April and May right now. So if you'd like to get on that list, get with me right away. So thank you very much, Richard, for a, for a job well done. Now let's, uh, we've got just a couple of more minutes. So I want to uh, let a couple of more of you go. Jessica, I think you had your hand up to go ahead and introduce yourself, what you love about your business and your nonprofit. You're on mute. That takes talent. I did already share the link to the nonprofit. Um, I'm Jessica Koch with Jessica Koch Consulting. I do the sales and marketing consulting, LinkedIn and social media training. Something I love about my business is I, two main things. I get to help um, amazing people uh, spread the, the word about their passions and talents and things all over the world. That's my job. That's actually what I do and my team does. And for me, that's outstanding. Um, and secondly, because my team helps do it, I get to give that same person, that amazing person who's giving a gift to the world, the gift of their time and some of their own life back so that they have some space for themselves. Um, and the nonprofit that I love is, um, it's a, it was a networking group that started originally. It's called the Dream Queen Network and it's business women supporting and uplifting each other. And actually in that group, I learned to celebrate. It was the first place in the first networking space that celebrations were a part of the, the agenda. So it was to celebrate, you know, tell about yourself, celebrate, and then share your desires so that we could lift them to the universe together jointly and watch all of those over the years, many years of being a part of that group that unfold. We started a nonprofit called Gals Lead. It's a leadership training. It's a true curriculum for young girls. And the four pillars of the curriculum that goes with a workbook and mentors that speak from all over the world to help these young girls is know yourself. So we do a chapter on knowing themselves, dreaming big, overcoming obstacles, and taking action. And I think that's the formula for success for all of us. And eventually this nonprofit is branching um, to support young men as well globally. So. It started in just a small little town and now it is um, definitely growing and that's my cause. All right, thank you. Uh, Olivia, we need to decide, uh, help me keep an eye on everybody's ideas here. What do you want our theme to be next week? Let's do that first and then we've got time for a couple of more. Anything special going on next week that we need to celebrate? Any special dates that we could celebrate? President's Day is coming up. <laughs> might be a little hot topic for <laughs> anybody else black <laughs> history month maybe we could share story related to that okay we celebrate a family day actually the same day as president's day so this coming monday will be family day so maybe we can do something family related 
Oh, that'd be fun. Like a picture of your partner or spouse or kids or pet. <laughs> I was going to say or a pet. <laughs> or pets. Yeah. Dog moms, dog dads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y'all want to do that for next week? Family day. All right. All right. We're still, want, show, we're still showing the love, but we're just going to be showing, extend it to our uh, family members, pets or, or whatever. So uh, now that if that you want me, I can do the mentee meter and just say, what are three things that family means to you? And we could have that collage. Oh, well, that's a great, great idea, yes. Laura. Yes. Okay, we'll be let's our do featured that. speaker next week. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. So make That'll sure you get all the, all the emails and I'll send it all out to you guys. A all right. Action. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm raising awesome. my hand to get on that speaker list. Um, okay. Nancy, um, all right. I've got your link. So I'll do that today and we can arrange some time. All same right. Here, who, who was that? Me, Laura, as well. Okay. All right. We've got a couple more minutes. Who'd like to do their introduction? Juanita. Hello, everybody. My name is Juanita Harvin. I am the founder and CEO of Your Way Tours, and we are a full-service travel agency and a military family-owned business. So, of course, we specialize in European adventures, castles, vineyards, ancestry tours, and wellness tours. And of course, my favorite thing to share and to do with my business, cultural experiences. Check this out. Yes, we go to every fest during the fest time in Germany in spring and in the fall. And I just love sharing that, that cultural experience when we take you out on tours. And that's the thing I love about my new job here as um, a travel agent and translator. My favorite um, uh charity and organizations, actually the Francisca Stuba, which is a homeless shelter um, that I still run the Saturday volunteers for in Stuttgart, Germany. But here locally uh, in Pensacola, I support REAP, R-E-A-P, and they help people that are homeless trying to find jobs or folks coming out of the um, jails and trying to find jobs, so incarceration. So um, we just love supporting any of those types of programs. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you. All right. Stand up and show them your cute little dress and explain to them and tell them what it's called. This is, this the is my dirndl. And we wear these at the fest. Nancy thought I was trying to promote some, some uh, sexy uh, dress wear, <laughs> but no, that's their design. You're supposed to buy them a couple of sizes smaller to make you look good. And th this is what the girls wear when they carry all that beer around. So yes, I wore my dirndl just for Nancy. Oh, I love it. I have one that I cannot fit in. Mine's about four sizes too small for me right now. <laughs> so thank you. Go ahead, Claudio. Hello, everyone. I'm Claudio. I'm with Cash FX. And what I do is I help entrepreneurs that want to diversify their passive streams of income by finding one that's as easy as one, two, three. What do I love about this company? Everybody gets paid. As soon as you've registered into the company, it takes three days to get it activated and you start earning money right away. We've never had a losing day. We've been earning money like this for over a year and a half now. And uh, it's the one thing I love the most. It's the easiest passive income I've ever made. And it's, uh, it's growing continuously. Uh, my charity, uh, it kind of hits close to home. I, I lost my mom uh, 20, almost 22 years ago uh, to cancer. Um, so my charity is the Canadian Cancer Society. But more recently, I have a, a next door neighbor that I used to live at at my previous home that is fighting cancer for the third time. Mm -hmm. And she's only 16. Mm -hmm. So uh, my thoughts and prayers are always going out to her. We've helped her any way we can through charities and, and personal events and whatnot. So I definitely want to send out lots of thoughts and prayers out to her as well. Her name is Alexa. Thank you. Anyone else? See some hands. Go ahead, Kelly. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Kelly Alexander, and I founded the Great American Tax Remedy. And what I love about what I do in my business is I get to share with people extraordinarily well-hidden secrets about our monetary banking system and how absolutely intertwined it is with our income tax system. Uh, tomorrow, I'm having an open forum. Um, I put the info in the chat as a with a you know presentation and a question and answer period if you want to learn some of these secrets and my favorite well i just discovered a new charity that i'm so impressed with 
It's called the Life House Project, founded by Samantha Foster. She's committed to ending human trafficking. She got caught up in that world herself, managed to break free, and has set up not only ways of releasing women and children from that life, but empowering so that they are no longer vulnerable to being pulled back into it. So thank you. Thank you. Bruce? Hi, my name is Bruce Barnes. I'm a wellness expert and proud to offer Isogenics wellness products. And last June, I completed a 16 week ISA body challenge where I re easily released 14 pounds and took five inches off my waist. I'd been struggling to drop that five inch bloat around my belly for years and I've been able to keep it off. And I especially love the shakes and bars. They're, they're absolutely delicious. And people that have completed the program average releasing two pounds a week and they keep it off. So while Isogenics promotes nutritionally supported intermittent fasting uh, with you know, weight loss, they also offer a variety of other products that improve your overall well-being. And the newest breakthrough product that they just came out with is a new collagen elixir that you, you, you drink it. And it's an amazing results people are seeing with that. So again, I'm Bruce Barnes, and I can help you improve all areas of your life and help you to actualize your full potential. Hashtag full potential. And my um, favorite charity, or one of them, <laughs> I put in the, the chat already, it's the Crohn's Colitis Foundation. They're uh, near and dear to my heart since I've, I've been dealing with Crohn's since I was a teenager. And uh, they you know, handle, uh, they do a, a lot of research programs to look for cures as well as educational programs and support services and advocacy and that. So, and I, what I love, one of the things I love about my business is just really helping people to improve their life. Thank you. All right, we're going to close for today. Just want to say thank you for everyone who is in attendance. One of the things that I love about my business is as an entrepreneur, you can be alone sometimes because your family and friends think you're crazy and they don't necessarily understand you. So I love the fact that I am able to surround myself with aspiring, emerging and seasoned entrepreneurs from all over the world. And each and every one of you uh, are such a blessing to me. And I love having you in this group. And I walk away every week uh, with just I'm in awe. I love your hearts. I love that you want to make a difference with your lives. It's not just about money. And even though that's a, you know, takes money to make the world go round, and we, we're ambitious and we want lots of that, but it's really about your heart and what you stand for. So with that, Livia, do you have a closing that you would like to? Hey, Nancy, can I just yep. say what my uh, uh, organization is, my nonprofit? Yes. Real, real quick. So it's called Souls for Souls. And they take old shoes, they gather up old shoes and they repurpose them. And then they redistribute uh, new shoes around the globe. And they've distributed over 20, I think 30 million new pairs of shoes. Oh. So soulsforsouls.org. And I put it in the um, chat. All right. And Debbie McKinney, Debbie with a Y McKinney, we're missing you, girl. So we look forward to you coming back. She, she's not a wall, even though it looks like she is. She's been having a lot of events and different things that she's involved in. So uh, just want to do a shout out to Debbie. Go ahead, Olivia. Do you have any closing comments? Yes. So I put in a chat. Everyone go ahead and save your chat. You know, next week's theme. So go ahead and book your slot for Lunch and Learn next Friday. And uh, look for that survey from, from Laura, too, about family. There Super excited to, to meet your extended uh, people in your life as well. And thank you very much, Olivia. She takes care of our chat in here and she does an amazing job. And I uh, just want to reach out and say thank you very much for, for helping me co-host these events each week. All right, y'all have a fabulous weekend. Hope it's filled with everything and everyone that you love. Talk soon. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Olivia. See you all next week. Have Bye, a everyone. great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Olivia. Happy Love y'all. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Happy Valentine's. Thank you. Happy Valentine's. <laughs>
Happy Mardi Gras and Fushing. Okay. <laughs> She's got a checklist, I think. 